the music in Liverpool was created in all the places like the Casbah Club, Ancient Institute, Litherland Town Hall, Latham Hall, Holyoke Hall, Plaza St. Helens, all these places. The cavern was the late comer and it didn't happen in Matthew Street. The Mersey scene was created in all the areas of Liverpool. In the end, the, 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 the cavern had to turn that corner and probably the band that was most uh, instrumental in doing that was Rory Storm and the Hurricanes, who performed at a, a jazz festival here, Liverpool's first jazz festival here at the cavern in January 1960. And they were one of four guitar bands that were included in that jazz festival. But the other three bands were playing skiffle or country and western, which was acceptable. Rock and roll wasn't, but Rory Storm and the Hurricanes with Ringo Starr on drums decided enough was enough and they just went into a complete rock and roll set. Actually, I think he um he wasn't, didn't play there for quite a while after that because he, he, he was booked to play Skiffle because it was still a jazz club and he was sticking in brand new Cadillac and of course he, you know, he had all the, the gear you know, uh, and it didn't go down well with the, well, I mean, the, the punters didn't like it because they're you know, these purists. You know. They got fined by the then owner Ray McFall and um, the audience threw pennies at them but that didn't deter them, they just carried on and, and really that date, which was the 17th of January 1960, was a turning point in the history of the, of the Cavern Club and basically in the history of British popular music. Mm -hmm. 